Take a look at this exclusive video. Those are heavily armed Homeland Security agents leading gang raids in Santa Cruz early this morning. It was a frightening scene for neighbors. KPX 5's Kit Doe is standing by with what we've just learned about the charges against the suspects. But first, Starlen Ramirez was the only reporter there as agents made the pre-dawn arrests. It was a wide-ranging effort to put an end to what police call a violent street gang. Dozens of agents from the Homeland Security Investigations Unit, ICE, and Santa Cruz Police closed in on members of the gang calling itself the Santa Cruz Salvatruchas Locos 13, an offshoot of the Central American gang known as MS-13. The gang, this criminal street gang that we we're doing, uh, identifies with Marlo Salvatrucha. Um, they uh, have committed murders, extortion, and narcotics trafficking. Police arrested nine people and served a dozen search warrants, all part of a five-year investigation targeting the gang. I had no idea this was going on, but now that it's now that they, they seem to have caught it, 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 I'm okay with it. But other neighbors question why Santa Cruz, a sanctuary city, is partnering with Homeland Security and ICE. You know, if this is a, a way, an excuse to um, have an immigration raid on the on top of um, something else, then um, this is a real problem, and we shouldn't be participating. I have nothing to do with an immigration raid, and uh, nobody is being detained for immigration purposes. Police also say they reached out to the feds after local efforts to fight the gang were not effective. In Santa Cruz, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5. Now those 10 arrested have already faced a judge today. KPIX 5's Kit Doe on how it was a challenge in the courtroom to get each suspect an attorney. Kit? Yeah, all 10 of those uh, alleged gang members show up here in the federal court wearing shackles on their hands, feet, and waist. They nearly all required some kind of a translator to talk to their lawyers. The feds say that they have put a big dent in the drug operations of, the world, of uh, one of the most notorious gangs in the world. The court documents hint at a much deeper story of threats, cash, weapons, drugs, and nicknames. Yes, colorful nicknames of the suspects like Medusa, Chaco, Chino, and Diablo. Investigators say for the past four years, seven of the men threatened local drug dealers in the Santa Cruz area with violence and extorted money from them. The other three men were charged with possession of meth with intent to sell. The federal government, it seems they, they feel like they've got a pretty strong case against these guys. Have you ever heard them say they indicted somebody but they don't think they have a strong case? Of course they said they think they have a strong case. We'll find out. We are learning more about one of the arrested men in particular, Jose David Abrego Galdamez, a.k.a. Largo. He has a long rap sheet that includes dealing meth and heroin and illegally re-entering the country. The feds say he is a high-ranking member of MS-13 and has been deported four times between 2002 and 2010. And so this investigation really picked up steam about a year ago, well before President Trump took office. And so law enforcement sources are telling us that, no, this was not some kind of crackdown from the Trump administration. But we did ask the U.S. Attorney uh, General's office uh, if these guys were, quote, bad hombres. They just laughed and said, no comment. We're live in downtown San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.